Memorial Park. Bob Wallace has the story. 3639 North Sheffield, 495 feet from home plate in Wrigley Field. A tenant's dream because you can watch the ball game from the rooftop. Cub fever has apparently sparked money fever in the heart of the building's owner, Stephen Woodruff of New Jersey. Tenants say he wants to rent the roof out to some unknown corporation for the playoffs and World Series if they happen, possibly depriving the regular tenants of their previously enjoyed rooftop privileges. It would be similar to someone who had, who had a season ticket and was told, ah, we're giving it away to a VIP, you know. Um, you know, it, it strikes a sense of outrage, frankly. John Duncan, a lawyer, is suing building owner Woodruff to protect the tenant's right to watch the postseason games from the roof. Woodruff was unavailable. But Duncan's lawyer, Bruce Baker, explained the lawsuit came only after talks with the owner failed. Basically, I'm sure that the tenants wouldn't object to the owners being up there as well, or even them inviting some friends too, but we, we want it to be reasonable. We want the tenants to be able to use the roof basically the way they have. This is not the roof the lawsuit is concerned with. This is 3637 Sheffield. The lawsuit roof is right over there, but they're not letting anybody upstairs today because of the controversy. Folks over here don't care, though. They've got a great view of the field, which is right across the street. The best seat in the house or out of it. The tenants at 3637 won't have to worry about their seats, though, according to one of the owners of that building. The answer is no, we're not going to rent it out to some big corporation. And yes, they'll be allowed to watch the playoffs and the World Series. Well, the situation regarding the rooftop next door should get resolved Friday. That's when all the lawyers go into court to present their various arguments. In the meantime, though, I'm going to take advantage of covering this story on the roof next door and just kind of watch the game. Jody Davis is up, stays on second. Let's see what's going to happen here. Come on, Jody. Well, there's a little bouncer. safe at third. Jody's going to second. The ball's in the outfield. Jody's going to third. He's safe with a... I got to tell you, this is work. This is wonderful. This is Bob Wallace up on a rooftop across from Wrigley Field covering a controversy and enjoying a ball game for Channel 2 News. Hey, how'd it go, guys? <laughs> and Cubs fans who live across from Wrigley Field are going to keep their rooftop view of the games. As Channel 5's Roy Weisinger reports, an agreement reached today between the tenants and the landlord of the building in question. This is what was at stake, seats for the playoffs and World Series at Wrigley Field. That is, the games will be at Wrigley, the seats are across the street on the roof of this apartment building. The owner had told the tenants they couldn't use the roof for postseason games. He said he wanted to sell tickets instead to offset some of his expenses. But Jim Akel and John Duncan, who share an apartment in the building, got mad. They're Cubs fanatics who've hung old pictures of Wrigley Field on the wall and National League standings on the refrigerator. They went to court. And today, in a two-hour meeting in the chambers of Circuit Judge Joseph Wasik, they won. Duncan says their victory kept the Cubs from being commercialized more than they are now. You're going to be one of the most popular men in town if uh, they hit the playoffs in the series, you know. Yes, you indeed. Prepared for that? Uh, well, we're used to that. <laughs> um, last year when the Cubs were uh, not playing so well, uh, it wasn't much of a problem. This year, all season long, not just during the playoffs, uh, we've had calls really from all over the country. Jim Akel and John Duncan are baseball fans, all right. But now they feel they've gone a little beyond that. As Duncan put it, we feel we've done something for baseball. Roy Weisinger, Channel 5 News. And as he was signing the agreement in that case today, the judge said, besides doing something for baseball, the two sides have done something for America. Warms my heart. Me too. Still ahead, we had a mild summer. What will winter be like? Fields. Residents in one building had filed suit to prevent the owner from selling space to business groups for the Cubs playoffs and the all but certain playoff gains. But late today, residents and owner Steve Woodruff came to an agreement. Forty residents from the building are assured a spot on the roof, and the owner can sell space to 20 other people. No one doubts the Cubs are a cinch to clinch their division, but today they lost to Pittsburgh, 6-2. to How about an apartment building near Wrigley Field? Who are the big winners tonight in a legal battle with their landlord? Carol Krause is standing by with a minicam at Wrigley Field with a live report. Carol. Don and Walter, the who has access to the roof across from Wrigley Field controversy is over tonight, at least at a three flat on Sheffield Avenue across from the right center field fence. A judge late today ruled that the tenants there have the right to continue to invite their friends over for games. Here's the story. 
Game watching from the roof is not only a tradition for the tenants of this and other buildings on Sheffield, it is the reason most people rent here, paying more money than is charged elsewhere in the neighborhood. But real game watching means inviting your friends, lots of friends. So imagine the outrage of these tenants when they heard their landlord was going to lease roof space to non-tenants during postseason games, taking up valuable party space. Tonight, the tenants who won the battle to save their roof space, one of them a lawyer, shared the news. The tenants in this building have established a right to access to this rooftop. Um, the way the order was drafted is that the uh, tenants here will be entitled to 40 seats for the playoffs. The owners of the building will be entitled to 20 seats, and um, that is precisely what we were trying to work out in the first place. Uh, we're very satisfied with, with uh, what has happened, and uh, uh, basically I think we're uh, ready for the playoffs and for the World Series. At night, the roof, like Wrigley Field, is dark. But inside these apartments, cub fever grows. Now, with a renewed confidence, they will be able to invite all their friends to the playoffs. This is not a total victory for the tenants. In the past, they were able to have 60 or 70 friends over for a game. They are now limited to 40. But in the past, when the Cubs were not doing so well, the landlord had no interest in the roof space. In any case, the landlord will not be able to lease that space. If he wants to have people over for a game, they are going to have to come as his guests. And Don and Walter, the landlord, Steve Woodruff, is in New Jersey tonight. That's where he lives. He was not in Chicago to comment on the judge's ruling. Back to the newsroom. I think I'd want to reinforce that roof with 40 people up there. <laughs> I agree with that. In a minute, John Kaufman will have just another perfect day for the old ball game at Wrigley Field and a report on a perfect world record balloon flight. Stay with us. He's got his beautiful, ditzy mother to contend with, and he also has a broken family. The father has run out and the older brother has run away, and he's really a mixed up kid. Tell me, is, uh, is the book, uh, what gave you the inspiration for it? Is it, is it modeled on the life of many the people in the bleachers? They've had a half a dozen of them. And how about the people outside the bleachers on the roofs? is nestled among tree-lined homes near public transportation. You can even watch the game from a nearby roof or even a living room without the necessity of television. Baseball season's underway Well, you better get ready for a brand new day Hey, Chicago, what do you say? The Cubs are gone should take it if they give it to him and remove the force at second base. Jorgensen at first play behind him saying you want to steal your runs no good. The 1-0 pitch. Got the corner one and one. Our game 
today was produced by Ken Edmondson, directed by Bucky Guntz. Mike Weissman is the executive producer of NBC Sports, coordinating producer of baseball, Harry Coyle. 1-1 one, one pitch. takes a ball and move over Willie McGee. Oh. There may be a new player of the game. Five Ryan Sandberg, six. five hits, including two home runs. Six Here's Ozzie. He took a bad hop, but that's nothing for him. He throws to Jorgensen. Wow, what a ball game. We will go to the 